Hi friends, the mains answer writing practice will be continued after the prelims exam on October 4th. And today I am making this video on what shall you revise in the last three days before the prelims examination. So friends, generally it is better only to revise rather than learning anything new in the last three days. So I would say that whatever you read in the last three days falls under four categories. One is you should focus on compulsory questions that come every year in the prelims exam. Second thing is whatever you read should help you in getting tuned up to the UPSC language, the UPSC way of asking questions. The third thing is it has to help you in building your confidence, enhancing your confidence. And finally, you should focus only on facts. Don't try to read any concepts now because conceptually whatever you can answer in the UPSC exam that should have been learned by now already. So let us deal this in the four parts. Coming to the first one, compulsory questions. For example, in the last five to six years, if you observe, every year UPS is asking reports. For example, who publishes the global gender gap report? It is a World Economic Forum. Like that, whatever reports have come in the current affairs, you read only those reports. And you can, the source of this one is, source is, several institutes across the India have released this year's reports. For example, they would say important reports and indices for UPSC prelims 2020. Many institutes release that. So download one of them, just go through them. Second, the other compulsory question that comes every year, two to three questions is government schemes. For this, my suggestion is, again, every institute in India has released the government schemes of last one year. You quickly go through those government schemes because definitely you will get two to three questions. I'm talking about the compulsory questions here. Then president speech. President's speech has been kept by All India Radio and also President's speech has been discussed in several, you know, uh, websites. You just have to type 2020 President's Speech of India. President's speech in the sense, Republic Day President's speech. So in that speech, just quickly go through the speech. In order to listen to the, uh, you know, audio or video, quickly go through the matter. The matter is published by several papers also. So go through the matter. In that president's speech, he would have mentioned important government schemes, important acts, last government policies. So read all of them. It will not take much time. Every year UPS is giving two to three questions from the president's speech itself. Then map pointing. Every year two to three questions come on the map pointing also. Regarding map pointing also, many institutes have published the important map points. Some 300, 200 map points. Quickly go through them. Otherwise, you can go through the map pointing videos. See, you can either go through Sarachandra Rice Academy's video or any other video published by many other, you know, institutes. Because com these are actually compulsory questions. Okay. Easily in these things, you will get some 10 to 12 questions. Then, second part. See, your mind has to get tuned to the UPSC language. How do you, how do you get tuned to the UPSC language? You solve the last 5 to 7 years of UPSC papers. Solving in the sense, quickly go through the questions, look at the answers, find the right answer. And UPSC has really the key also. In the last 5 to, five to 7 years, the UPSC has given the key also. So go through the key also. So quickly go through the question and the key to understand the UPSC way of asking questions. It will tune you for the examination. The third thing, whatever you read in the last 3 days should build your confidence. So the best thing is, whatever mock test that you have that you have done in the last one year, it may be 20 mock tests, 30 mock tests, some students have done even 60 mock tests, quickly go through those mock tests, it will not take much time, it will take maximum half an hour, in fact 20 minutes only, because you don't need to go through every question in the mock test, particularly go through those questions which you have marked wrongly, just see those questions, see the answers, that's all, it will actually build a lot of confidence, because almost 30 to 30 to 40 mock tests you are going through. Then finally friends, the most important thing is what you are revising, revise only the facts. For example, when it comes to polity, read only articles. For example, if you have the book PM Bakshi, PM Bakshi, first four pages, only articles are there. Even Lakshmikanta also, but Lakshmikanta is giving only important articles, not all the articles. So, otherwise online, just download the important articles, Constitution of India, just go through the articles. No need to go through the explanation also, just the articles, that's all. For example, modern history. If you have read Spectrum, Spectrum almost at the end of every chapter, they have given one box of important points. Just go through those points. Like that ancient medieval history, if you have a source where they have summed up everything in few points. For example, some institutes have given PPTs also. Go through those PPTs simply. Only the factual parts. For example, geography, I would tell you, every year there are some questions on important matter and climate. What are the important facts? Equatorial climate, what are the important points? British Columbian climate, what are the important points, facts. 
So like that important climate region. If it's environment, go through the important biomes and the important species or vulnerable species, threatened species. So only the facts go through them quickly. Don't be afraid whether you can remember them or not. Just go through them. As the exam is just three days away, naturally you'll remember it. Okay. Then friends, even current affairs also. Whatever current affairs monthly magazines you have read, whichever institute, okay, as you turn the page of current affairs, in the entire page, there will be one or two important facts that are in the bolded format, bolded, underlined. Just go through those facts. Those facts. Don't go through the entire, uh, you know, the page or entire concept. Don't do that at all. If you go in this way, you can finish all current affairs in very less time. So, broadly, friends, there are the four things I would suggest to you. Uh, that you have to do in the last three days before the prelims examination. All the best friends, take care, see you.